Hey guys, welcome to your YouTube channel where we talk all about GATE and the GATE exam alternatives. So I am back again here with another informational video as I have promised to all of you that I will tell you all the alternatives to GATE exam which are having equal standard as a GATE exam and which lets you reach to the equal standard institution as IIC Bangalore and other IITs. So one such very prestigious and elite institute of India is ISI, Indian Statistical Institute. And the exam conducted by this institute is of equal importance as GATE, which takes, takes you for the higher study admissions like MT Computer Science and other such programs. And uh, so in this video, I'm going to tell you in detail about the institution and also about the various programs which are offered by the institution. So this is the right time because uh, institution has recently released its prospectus for the 2020-21 admissions. So for all the programs available there, filling of the admission forms have been started. So let's talk something about ISI Institute. The institute was founded in 1931 by Professor Prasanta Chandra, who is, who is a uh, professor of physics in Presidency College of Kolkata. In fact, the institute has its very first or the beginning days in the statistical laboratory of Presidency College. Later on, it was moved to its current location. The headquarter uh, for this college is in Kolkata. That means the main campus is in Kolkata where most mostly all the programs run all throughout the year and most of the research takes place. Other than that, institute has its centers all over the India, including Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, and a northeast center that is Tejpur. Other than them, there are centers in uh, Hyderabad, Mumbai, Pune, uh, etc., where a very specific research takes place. Okay, ISI scientist, I mean whoever is involved with ISI. ISI scientist does not only mean the faculty over there, it also means the alumni and the uh, students over there. So ISI scientist working in the areas of mathematics, theoretical and applied statistics, computer science, theoretical computer science and the cryptography and various fields of it, economics, quality control, operational research, etc. In fact, ISI provides degrees and diplomas in all these fields. Okay, and those degree, degrees are not only at the graduate level, in fact, at, at the higher study level. So it provides masters and also provides the research fellowship programs. For past eight decades, with phenomenal growth, ISI has been regarded as one of the leading institute of world as a center for studies and research in the areas of statistics, mathematics, and the related areas. In fact. ISI has been recognized by Government of India as Institute of National Importance. So this is a place where students seek their admissions right after their 12th exam. They go and do their graduations. They, in fact, uh, they take further admissions for the highest studies over there only and turn out to be bigger, biggest academicians and researchers of their own fields. They, uh, you, if you if at all you try to google out about the ISI alumni, then you will find out that world leaders about statistics, mathematics and computer science are the part of ISI. So here I have uh, some of the programs, uh, most of the programs offered by ISI, uh, its headquarter and the various institutes. So I have mentioned all the undergraduate and graduate programs, I mean all the degree programs. Uh, so let's start with them. The very first one is BSTET, Bachelor of Statistics Honours, Bachelor of Mathematics Honours. So one of the very, very popular programs uh, for ISI were recognized at the world level, the undergraduate programs. So uh, these two are those. I mean, only two undergraduate programs are there. The two bachelor degrees, one is in the statistics, other is in, is in the mathematics. So similarly, the, both of them have their higher study uh, program also, the postgraduate programs, Master of Statistics and Master of Mathematics. Then they have Master of Science in Quantitative Economics. They have Master of Science in Library and Information Science. Then there is another Master of Science program uh, provided for the Quality Management Science. 
there is mtech in quality reliability and operational research there is mtech in computer science mtech in cryptology and security and and one p post graduate diploma which is equivalent to the mba that is the post graduate diploma in business analytics this is a program which is uh, provided uh, jointly by the three institutes one is isi the other is in indian institute of management kolkata that is iim calcutta and the third one is indian institute of technology khadakpur iit khadakpur so you consider this program as the one of such leading program because it is conducted by the three leading institute of management of statistics and of technology okay and uh, this program which is mtech qror is none less than and it's very much equivalent to the ieor program provided by iit bombay i mean there is a reason definitely there is a reason that i am mentioning all these programs on the board mtech computer science mtech cryptology and information security is very much you know and of course i mean because this video i am talking about isi in general so all the programs are here other than these programs it provides some more uh, post graduate diplomas and general diplomas other than that isi provides junior fellowship and the senior fellowship and the phd program now i am going to tell you about uh, the important dates i mean important dates i am uh, running directly like in the previous uh, view i had shown you the all the programs available and i told you that is isi uh, kolkata have already started uh, admission forms uh, for this uh, coming academic session that is 2020-2021 and uh, the admission portal is active so uh, no matter what type of program you want to apply into the admission forms have started so on, it's all online application there is no offline application so online application has started from february 14th already it's going to get end on that is very important for you to know on march 6th okay and uh, the payment of fee for the application is again already as started but it's going to end on march 10th so there are two different ending date don't get confused that you can apply till march 10th no you can apply only till march 6th march 10th is last date for uh, apply uh, give, uh, paying for the fees okay admission admit cards are going to get issued uh, from april 20 onwards now the very important date that is May tenth, twenty twenty, is the ISI admission test. Okay, one day for all the programs and their respective admission test. So because ISI does not take any other exam into consideration, yeah, it does take, but it also has its own exam. So those who have like for the masters computer science, it considers gate as an entrance exam, but uh, but it's not compulsory. some people can go through isi admission test some can go through gate similarly for the bachelor that is undergrad programs b stat and b math it also consider the uh, mathematics olympiad uh, exam score and its a certificate so those who have done that they can get relaxed from the exam but let's talk that everyone has to give the exam so uh, no matter you want to apply for the undergrad or you want to apply for the post grad or you want to apply for the diploma or for research you have to appear for the written test exam conducted by isi for respective program that for which you are applying so certainly because uh, uh, all exams are on one day so you cannot apply for multiple programs you, you have to be very careful that which program you need to apply because for that only you can appear for the test because all the tests are going to be on the same day and f definitely tests are different all the tests are different okay so that day is very important and if i start counting from now you have very good 3 months to prepare and to do everything and to crack the isi okay next uh, in the coming video i am going to tell you in detail about the certain programs which are actually beneficial for our particular channel because we could we talk about the gate exam in field of computer science so before that i would request all of you to go through isi portal at uh, website admission portal read through the prospectus and believe me i have seen so many brochures information brochures so far so many prospectus by various institutions from all the elite and eminent institutions of india but this prospectus really took away my heart it's such lean, such nicely crafted and 
properly headed and like everything is, has been defined and described so beautifully in such a crisp and you know managed manner that it it takes no time for you to understand everything so please go through them and uh, find out your interest do apply and do follow us in the next video for the further uh, information about other programs also if you want to know specifically about any program or you want me to make any video about specific program then please do mention that in the comment section below i will see you very soon and please do share this video because this is a gate alternative and this is an alternative for even other exams so see you soon bye bye